Let's get personal with Latanya and Ray. Celebrity Media Marcus TV. Brand new with the drop. Whipping up the lot. Yeah, I'm headed to the top. I bet you ain't know. Got nothing for the ops. Ain't knowing all the thoughts. Yeah, I'm headed to the top. I bet you ain't know. Brand new with the drop. Whipping up the lot. Yeah, I'm headed to the top. I bet you ain't know. Got nothing for the ops. Ain't knowing all the thoughts. Hey, everybody. It's your girl. It's your girls. Let's get personal with Latanya. Hey, girl. Hey, everybody. Powered by Celebrity, Celebrity Media. Media TV. Woo woo. Yeah. We're back. <laughs> and guess who we got today? You know, your girls only bring the best of the best. So, guess what, y'all? Who we got? Mrs. McClendon, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> and she is the ABCs of finance, you guys, and the owner of Amazing Rare Ruby. Hey, Mika. Hi, Hello, Latanya and Ray. How are you? <laughs> We're doing hey, well. How are you hey. having me? And we so excited. Finally. Yes. Everybody we needs it. Yeah, yes, you will. Everybody needs you. Oh, thank you. So, right. so welcome you. We appreciate you too, Mika. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you. You look beautiful. Look at that smile. She's ready to go. She's ready to go, Ray. <laughs> I know. And especially in this time, you know, people are struggling with finances, and it's yes. very important that Absolutely. they know. And we're so happy that you're going to bring it to them. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm excited to be on the show and to have the ABC's of finance segment. So thank you, ladies, so much. We made it happen. Yes. 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 Now, Mika. Yes. We understand you have 15 years of experience, right? For studying oh, yeah. and teaching financial concepts. That right? is that is correct. A lot of it through personal experience as well. Uh, so I've definitely taken classes and gotten certifications and all those wonderful things. Uh, but I think the best experience for me was my own personal experience and actually learning how to get out of debt and become financially stable for myself. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. that usually what happens, you know, when you deal with it on your own, in your own life, mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, then you can teach who's best to teach it. You have to go through it to know, right? There you that's go. Good. Yeah, that's so, true. Yes, wow. that is correct. Yes. So wow. tell us about it. We're excited. Well, thank you. Yeah. Well, we're I'm excited for our segment. So for those of you out there who don't know me, my name is Mika McLendon, and I am the founder and CEO of Amazing Rare Rubies. And I have the awesome, awesome opportunities of having the ABCs of Finance financial segment on Let's Get Personal with your girls, Latanya <laughs> and Ray. And so I'm so excited about this segment because the purpose of it is to enhance financial literacy. And we believe in doing that a piece of change at a time while we're encouraging you to start your own financial journey to becoming. Finances is a subject and a topic that is truly near and dear to my heart because as I was saying earlier, I learned a lot from experience. By the mm -hmm. time I was in my mid thirties, I was a single mother of two, a three time divorcee. You got it, one, two, mm -hmm. three time divorcee and I was in over $30,000 worth of debt and I went on working week to week living paycheck to paycheck I was climbing the corporate ladder making six figures but I was literally broke you know I didn't have enough money to make the end of the month and it only took one moment with God where he reminded me that I was so much more than what I had become. And it was then that I truly found the courage to begin my own personal journey to becoming. And I began to become spiritually, mentally, and yes, financially. So wow. for me, it's important that individuals truly, truly learn and understand the basics of finance. Now, there's a lot out there, but for yeah. this segment, we're going to stick with the basics because we need to understand what it means to attain debt-free status and how to and understand the types yeah. of debt we need to understand the importance of budgeting down to zero i know people don't like that word but budgeting down <laughs> to zero, zero so that you wow. know where your money is going 
and to truly understand how to create cash flow before we begin to have discussion on more complex money matters like, mm -hmm. you know, 401ks and mutual funds and, and stocks. So I truly believe this segment will help individuals get control of understanding their money, help you reduce debt, help you reduce stress because you yes. won't have that de debt, Ooh, yes. right? And <laughs> fuel you to want to actually save more than you spend. And that's a big piece when you really save look, more than you spend. Yes, mm -hmm. save more than you spend. That that's so 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 important. So in doing that tonight, what I would like to do for our first segment of the ABCs of Finance <laughs> is I want to share with you six financial things everyone needs to know when it comes to their money. Everyone, I don't care who you are, these are six basic things that you need to know when it comes mm -hmm. down to your money. So number one, you must understand your net worth. You need mm -hmm. to know what your net worth is, whether it is positive, mm -hmm. yay, 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 if it is, or if it's negative. But you also need to understand how to calculate it. A lot of people don't know the formula, which is pretty simple. You basically take all of your assets, add them up. Okay. Deduct all of your liabilities. Okay, so your total assets minus your total liabilities equal your net worth. Now, the goal is for that net worth number to be a positive number. If it's not, we definitely have some work to do. But you need to know your value. Wow. So many people don't even know their net worth. Just because you get up and you go to work every day, nine to five, does not mean you do not have a net worth. So mm. that piece is huge. You need to understand your net worth. That's number one. Number two that I want to share with you is understanding your gross income versus your net income. Those are two different things. So your gross income is the money before any taxes or deductions. Oh, so wow. that's where they say you make $75,000 a year. That's your gross income, mm. right? That's pre-taxes, pre-deductions versus your net income, which is going to be post taxes and post deductions. Now, the mm -hmm. reason it's important to understand these two things is because they're used differently. So with your gross income, let's say you want to purchase mm -hmm. a house. Mm -hmm. With your gross income, they're gonna look, at, uh, to purchase a house, they're gonna look at your gross income and say, what is your salary, right? So mm -hmm. with the house, they'll look at, you can purchase two to three times your salary is a rule of okay, okay. that's your gross but when you're thinking about paying your house note you need to focus on your net because that's what you bring home and mm -hmm. your house note for a rule of thumb a tip to you all your house note should average between but well not between no more than 28 percent of your bring home so that's just a tip mm -hmm. for you if your house note is 50% of what you're bringing home, that's kind of going in too steep because it doesn't leave enough cushion for you to do the other things you need to do in your buckets of responsibilities. That's when money really gets tight. So 28% is kind of like the maximum you want to go to when you're looking at how much you're spending towards your house. But that's why it's important to understand gross versus net. They're used for different things. The net is important to you for your personal household income. So that's number two. Okay. Number three, you need to understand your total monthly income. So that's everything that you have coming in. So whether you're bringing in money from a nine to five brick and mortar, you're doing a part-time entrepreneurship, it may be child support, it may be an inheritance that you get a monthly payout on, whatever your income is, you need to do a total list of your income. Understand the total amount you have coming in monthly because you can mm -hmm. never tell your money where to go if you really don't understand what's coming in. So you want to get a true <laughs> picture of what does that look like? Most people only know what their check is, right? They know they got a deposit in the bank. But if you have other avenues coming in, you want to calculate that in. So you must understand your total monthly income. That's number three. Number four, your total monthly expenses. Mm -hmm. If you were to ask, I bet you you could walk up to, you know, people right now and say, what's your total monthly expenses? Most people <laughs> yeah. don't know what that number is. 
They know they have mm. bills to pay, right? They know what those bills yeah. are every month, but they don't know their total monthly expenses. You need to understand that. For us ladies, we love to get our hair. You know, we like to be cute now. So you go, <laughs> that's a monthly expense, right? You exactly. know, we got to get the yeah. hair did, but yeah. that's a monthly expense, right? Monthly. For yeah. our gentlemen that love to go get their hair cut, that is a monthly expense. So you need to include everything. So if you know you do something every month, include it mm -hmm. in the monthly expenses so you can get a true picture of what you're, what you're spending out, okay? So that's number four. Number five, you need to understand your monthly cash flow. Now, we know a business formula that says revenue minus expense equals profit, right? Mm -hmm. Take that same formula, put it on the personal side. What mm -hmm. you bring in, we talked about number three, your monthly income, minus mm -hmm. your monthly expenses will equal your monthly cash flow. Now, what's important mm -hmm. is to understand if that number is a positive or a negative. Mm -hmm. If it's a negative, that means we don't have enough money to meet the month, right? So we need to go back and do some adjustments on that. But you need to understand your monthly cash flow. And here's the thing, set a goal for mm -hmm. what you want your monthly cash flow to be. There's no right or wrong answer to that. But if you know when you finish paying your bills, you want at least $500 left over at the end of every month. But when you do your mathematical situation, you come down to 300 left over, you know, you have some adjustments to make to meet that goal. But the key mm -hmm. is we have to know what it is first. So you need to understand your monthly cash flow. And then number six, number six is number understanding six. your total debt. Understanding your total, total debt debt she said total. And your total because you know we're very good at you know well it's only fifty dollars on that credit card and i was gonna look at paying that no it's debt right now you need to do yeah. the total debt of what you have and you need to understand your debt to income ratio so your total debt and your debt to income ratio your debt to income ratio is basically the percentage of debt that you are in you want your debt to income ratio to be 28% or less for your mortgage, your household expenses. Remember I said you didn't want to go over there yeah. 28%, but then when you add on your other bills and credit cards, or you may have a student loan or a car note or whatever that is, you don't want that percentage to go over 36%. Exactly. Okay? So you need to understand what is your ratio of debt? And you do that by mm -hmm. looking at how much money am I bringing in, right? And how much money am I actually putting out? So I'm going to take my monthly reoccurring debt and divide it by my monthly income coming home, my net. So how much do I have in debt? Divide that by how much I'm bringing and I get that percentage, how much I'm bringing home and I get that percentage. So if you understand those six things, and those are the basics, there's a lot of components and information up under those topics, but it's very important that we understand those six things so that we can begin to learn how to manage our money first, all right? So wow. I know in getting all that, some, some of you guys are probably saying, okay, so where do I start? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, gave me, yes, you gave me all these things, where do I start? The first thing I would suggest, and I tell everybody, because it can be overwhelming, right? So we got to dumb some of it down so that it kind of clicks for us because it's a lot of information. Mm -hmm. The first place I tell people to start is to do a personal assessment. I call it a self-assessment. And that's where you truly, truly look at your finances and ask yourself, what did you do to contribute to the situation you're in? Because whether your, your financial situation is good or whether it's bad, you did it. You contributed to it. You made some decisions mm -hmm. that got you to where you are, good or bad. We have to own up to what those decisions are. Decisions are for me. It was, you know, I grew up without my dad. I grew up in a single fa family home, and so shopping was like a, you know, it made me feel good for a minute. It was just See? a yeah. relief, yeah. right? Yeah. But that got me in all this debt. But it was yeah. because I felt like I was missing something. I was looking for things in the wrong places. So mm -hmm. you've got to own up to what got you into your situation. So do that self-assessment. And you can't lie to yourself. The mirror don't lie. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
So it reflects what it sees, right? Yes. So do a self-assessment of your current financial situation and then write it out. Number two, write it mm -hmm. out. Write out the truth of what it is and then write out what you would like it to be. Okay. You probably see a so drastic. So you're going to write out the truth of what it is. The truth of what it is. Because mm -hmm. until we're truthful about where we are, we're just wasting time. Never will fix it. We'll never fix it. Right. We'll never fix it. All right. So write out the truth of what it is. Right. And then write out what you want it to be. What do you want it to be? What that way you, you can at least begin to look at how can I start moving from point A to point Z. So write out a true picture of it and where you actually want to be. And the last thing that I'll say around that learning more is um, Amazing Rare Rubies. We have an ABCs of Finance class that will be coming up in August. And we oh, do really? it on okay. the first, well, the, it's the first, it's not even the first, it's the Tuesday. That's what it is. It's the <laughs> Tuesday of every week. And it's a one hour class. We do it virtual. We do a webinar um, where great. individuals can sign up for that. So there'll be more to come on that on our website. Uh, mm -hmm. which is www.amazingrarerubies.com. So there'll be more information there. And we actually walk through, it's a four-week class that we really mm -hmm. walk through getting to know your finances. Well, I was going to ask you about that too. So it's a four-week class and yeah. everyone would go, um, who wants to attend, will go to www.amazingrarerubies. Um, that is correct. And what correct. time? What time it's will normally that be? at 7 p.m. We normally do 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Tuesday. So it'll be the, the four Tuesdays in August, 7 to 8 p.m. Nice. Webinar style. Yeah. Nice. Yep, yep. People need that. Yeah. I need it. it. <laughs> I think yeah, everybody I can do better. <laughs> you know, everybody can do better. Absolutely. Yeah. You, never, so, you never stop learning on that stuff. Absolutely. I agree. And sometimes it, it do come from shopping impulses. Like if I'm stressed, it feel good. And then I'll get home and I'll be like, I don't even want it. I'll take it. I, it's like, it's not making me happy. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. So some women do that. Just, you know, it makes you feel good. Something. Yeah. We all have those vices that we tend to go to, you know, whether you're getting a, a, a half a gallon of ice cream out the fridge to sit on the couch and binge or you're doing a shopping <laughs> spree, you know, we do those things and there's nothing wrong with it. And that's why th there's nothing wrong with going out shopping. There's nothing wrong with treating yourself. The key mm -hmm. here is to a lot for it. See, when you budget your money, if you're telling mm -hmm. your money where to go, you know, one of the things you put on your expenses is a slush fund or whatever you want to call it, a miscellaneous fund for you. And then, you know, whether it's you're putting $25 a pay period in there or you're putting $50 a pay period in there. I don't know it. what is what works for you. Mm -hmm. You're going to put some money to the side. So to your point, Latanya, when you have that moment where, mm -hmm. you know what, you know, we love our husbands, but we get on their nerves sometimes and they get on our nerves. And sometimes you just want to go out and go shopping. I need to pray. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. But you, you mm -hmm. go into that slush fund and you shop. Slush that you slush will fund. Buy. I've yeah. never heard of it. Before. I call it a slush fund, you know. <laughs> but you go into that and you spend okay. what's in there versus you go out with that piece of plastic and you start swiping and you get yourself yeah. in more trouble than you expected. And where you think you paid $29.99 for those wonderful pair of shoes that were on sale 50% off, right? So you got it for $29.99, girl, you got a deal. But you put it on your credit card, not realizing that and thinking about the interest on your credit card if you don't pay it off at the end of the month. Those shoes are only going to be $29.99 if you pay that mm -hmm. credit card in total at the mm -hmm. end of the month. If you if they send you a bill for $29.99 and you send them $5, well, guess what? The $24.99 that's left is going to accrue interest. So you end up paying oh, more good. for those yeah, shoes. That's good. That's good than what you actually thought you paid. So that's why it's important to have that slush fund to the side, right? So you can go out and do those things. Yes. Get the deal and be proud of your deal, right? <laughs> <laughs> I get happy with some deals. If I get a deal, I'm taking it. 
Sometimes that <laughs> ice working just because it's on sale. Exactly. Yes, right. It's that orange tag and the red tag. It's that red and white that. sign. It's that red and white sign that just draws. Yeah, or you. yellow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it does. Help us, does. Mika. Help us. Help <laughs> us. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, I'm learning. I'm learning to try to do things because before I didn't really pay attention to how much it was, what it was. Yeah, I just, right. I yeah, she just money did it. She and did. I could have it. So I would just buy it. And then yeah. sometimes I'd swipe, swipe, mm-hmm. swipe. <laughs> and then you don't realize you think you're getting that deal. But then six mm-hmm. times before that you were shopping, you got that deal six times and you're not paying it off. Exactly. Like you said. And then look, there's a problem. I've been working on my credit for, I would say, about a good eight months. Okay. (laughs) Paying paying bills off and like really sacrificing, really, really sacrificing and nothing stopping me. Nothing. My kids can even call me and say, I need this. I got to pay this bill. Mm -hmm. I need to go first. What's left you get. There you go. I'm not sacrificing. But that's wow. that's it. One of the things that um, my husband and I do, we do not, for example, we don't believe in loaning money. We don't loan money to our kids. We don't loan money to other families. We do not loan money. We are to give. The Bible tells you to give out of your abundance. Abundance. That's what I love when Mika talks about yeah. that. You yeah. got to give out of your abundance. So if you're loaning something, you're expecting to get it back, Right. Yeah, if you, mm-hmm. if you, I'm gonna let you hold fifty dollars. Well, you're expecting to get that fifty dollars back. Well, nine times out of ten, when people start borrowing money like that, the probability of you getting that fifty dollars back becomes very low, right? <laughs> so, if you're giving fifty dollars that you can't afford to give, you're setting mm-hmm. yourself up for failure. Yeah. So the key is just what you said, Ray. Take care of your business and what you need to do first, even including paying yourself. Because yeah, we missed that boat as well. Yeah, I don't do that. I need to do that, Mika. You need yeah. to pay yourself. You know, uh, those who, you know, are, uh, are Christians and tithe, I'm, I'm all for that. You need to pay your tithes, but you also need to pay yourself. And we don't do that. We'll pay everybody else first. Yeah. And then we take what's left over. And a lot of times we get depressed and we're miserable about what's left because mm-hmm. it's not enough. So give out of your abundance. When you give out of your abundance, it doesn't bother you from a financial stability standpoint, right? It doesn't bother you if they don't pay it back. Now you might feel mm-hmm. it emotionally, right? Cause you're like, you know, I want my money back, but <laughs> it's not like if you don't get it, you can't afford to pay your light bill. As right. Well. So right. You give true. out of your abundance so that you don't start that domino effect of downward spiral when it comes to your right. finances. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, that's wow. true. That's yeah. true. Because you find you know after you said that, Ray, after Mika talked about that um, at a seminar, I went telling everybody. I said, "Listen, you got to give out of your abundance. That <laughs> I means if you have an extra." So that even helped me. I mean, that really stuck in my head, yeah. um, Mika, when you said that at yeah. that conference. Because I mean, we read the Bible. Yes, I have read it, but you broke that down really. I mean, Thank good. You. I never Thank really you. paid attention to that. Like, give out of your, you know, abundance. Yeah, but I never really, I just read it. But yeah. And, and that's what, that's what most of us do. And when you think about how, you know, our parents and family raised us to take care of each other. Mm-hmm. That's a yep. good thing, right? We raised, you take care of family. You don't let your family go without, but you can't give what you don't have. And that's, that's why true. when you leave your home, and especially when you get married, the Bible says you leave your mother and father and you cleave to mm-hmm. your wife, to your spouse, right? So right. if we're doing that, we got to make sure that household is taken care of. And we can't, you don't defeat that household by trying to support someone, someone else's. That's why I said that self-assessment mm-hmm. uh, is very important from the standpoint of you have to understand and accept what you did to contribute to your current financial situation. Wow. Mika, Mika, we appreciate you so much. Yes. Um, everybody is going to see more of you. That Thank was, you. I mean, that was beautiful. That was awesome. You know how many people need to know about this though, Ray? That's why I thought out of everything else, we need to help people with their finances. I mean, that's, that's a depressing thing that's even going on now. 
So people do need to hear um, your professionalism on it. So Thank me you. and Ray was like, this would be great. Out of everything else, we really need this. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, so ladies, we, so much for having me. We appreciate you. It, it's more to come. You're an awesome, beautiful lady, gifted yes, lady. Thank you. And thank you. we're looking forward to working with you, working with, with us, helping Amen. us out. Because <laughs> we're taking notes. We're taking Amen. notes. Yeah. We're going to get yeah. better with it. We're going to have a testimony for everyone I love it. from what, I love you, it. what you've taught us. So thank you so much, and we look forward to next time. All right. Thank you, ladies. Yes. All right. Love you. love you. God bless. Love you. Let's get personal with Latanya and Ray. Celebrity Media Marcus TV. Brand new with the drop. Whipping up the lot. Yeah, I'm headed to the top. I bet you ain't know. Got nothing for the ops.